Good morning and welcome to ABC News Breakfast. It's Monday the 5th of August. I'm Michael Rowland. And I'm Virginia Trioli and these are our top stories today. The campaign begins. Kevin Rudd and Tony Abbott make their pitch to lead the nation. This election will be about who the Australian people trust. It's really about who is more fair income. federal government to unveil a new multi-million dollar assistance package for the car industry. Who's your doctor? The bookmaker's favourite wins the coveted role. It's... Peter Capaldi! And Australia in the box seat in the third test, but its biggest worry now is the weather. The economy will take centre stage as the Prime Minister and the Opposition Leader kick off their election campaigns today. Kevin Rudd is in Canberra preparing to unveil a new assistance package for the car industry. The Federal Government will spend $200 million to help increase local car sales. Tony Abbott will be in Brisbane where he'll focus on job security. Mr well, Abbott's promising a coalition government will create one million jobs within five years. Now for the real news of the day. Peter Capaldi has been named as the new Doctor Who. He's the 12th actor to play the Doctor and he's best known for his role as the foul-mouthed spin doctor Malcolm Tucker in the BBC series The Thick of It. The Scottish actor was the bookmaker's favourite to take over the role from Matt Smith. A new report shows Australians are embracing solar energy. The Climate Commission's Solar Energy Report shows more than 10% of Australians have installed solar panels on their homes. Most of the growth in the last five years has been in the mortgage belt suburbs of Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. US embassies are on alert across the Arab world because of a heightened terrorist threat. 21 embassies and consulates across the Middle East and North Africa have now been closed. The State Department has also issued a worldwide travel alert for US citizens. Security is particularly tight in Yemen's capital, where Britain, France and Germany have also closed their embassies. Officials in Pakistan say at least 45 people have died in floods caused by torrential rain. The country's biggest city, Karachi, is among the worst hit. 19 people have died there. Many were electrocuted or died when their homes were swept away. Floods have also killed dozens of people in Afghanistan. The Italian Coast Guard has rescued hundreds of asylum seekers from North Africa who were trying to reach Europe by boat. More than 250 people were picked up in three separate operations. They have been transferred to the southern Italian island of Lampedusa. Survivors say three Somali women died during the five-day crossing. Now, with the news of the September 7th election date broke, there were mixed views from the Prime Minister's electorate of Griffith in Brisbane. I have no doubt he will have no problem in winning. A lot of people are just sick of all the, the to and fro and, and the um, unrest within the party, to be honest. And I think, look, I think that's personally why he won't get my vote. I just think that the, it's been, it's, it's actually been a, um, a circus. He has my support. He's a typical Australian bloke, you know. He, uh, he likes to run amok, have a bit of fun. I think he'll win. You think so? Why are you so sure? Um, I think he's got a lot of momentum and a lot of interest. I honestly believe that we have to get rid of him once and for all. You know, he's been popping up for so often and he's been around for a long time. Someone needs to put, put, it, put him down, get him out, you know, once and for all. Uh, I don't think he'll go that good. How come? Uh, I don't think he's, he's coming over too false, trying to do too much all at once. Yeah, I reckon Kevin Rudd's going to go good, hey? Like, it's just all the everyday working people. Once I get in, that's what I'm voting for. Voted for him again, I'm going to vote for him again. Good morning, Michael. Checking the satellite now, we can see a cloud across parts of Victoria, Tasmania and New South Wales and brisk westerly winds in the wake of a cold front is bringing showers. There's also a second cold front and that's just brushing the bottom of Western Australia and bringing some showers to the region. Taking a look at the states now, in Queensland, fine and mostly sunny, some early fog patches, sunny in Brisbane with a top of 24 degrees. To New South Wales, some showers about the southern ranges, otherwise a fine and mostly sunny day, sunny in Sydney and partly cloudy for Canberra. To Victoria, windy along the coast, some showers about the ranges and in the southwest this evening, a few late showers for Melbourne. A warning for icy roads in Tasmania, rain extending across much of the state today, a cold start for Hobart. But
It'll warm up to 15 degrees. To South Australia and foggy conditions in the Adelaide Hills. Showers in the south with possible storms in the southeast. A late shower for Adelaide and 19 degrees. In Western Australia, rain in the southwest with some moderate falls possible. A shower or two for Perth and a top of 22 degrees. Further north now and it's looking sunny and dry. There's a fire ban for the northwest Darwin Daily District today. Windy in Darwin with a top of 32 degrees. Taking a look around the country tomorrow, sunny in Townsville, Brisbane and Sydney. Showers for Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth and sunny in Darwin.